Number one then, the first question in the 2022 National Five Paper One, just a little two-mark question, fractions. Carry out this calculation, giving you your answer in its simplest form. Well, there's two parts here. There's an addition of fractions and there's a multiplication of fractions. If you take it at face value, that would be do the brackets first. Carry out this addition, and then once you've got the answer to that, multiply it by two thirds. Those would be the, the two marks, one for each of them. You could also multiply out the brackets and do this multiplication and that multiplication, and then add the two answers. But that would be three things then. So we'll do it both ways. But what you shouldn't do is just ignore the brackets and do a multiplication. And once you've got the answer, just add on a fraction as if those brackets weren't there. Well, first of all, adding them. Doing the brackets first. Well, a fifth plus three quarters. I'll just do it again separately. A fifth plus three quarters. You can't add fractions unless they're of the same amount. You can't add pounds and dollars unless you change them both into pounds or both into dollars or both into something else like euros. So, find something they both divide into, 20. Now, I'm just going to write that 20 down once. You can write it as over 20, over 20. But the whole point about that is, once they're both out of the same amount, that will just be a single fraction out of that amount. Now, change them accordingly. 5 into 20 goes 4, so it's 4 times it, 4 times the top. 4 into 20 goes 5, so 5 times the top. So that part comes to 19 twentieths. Now, doing that, starting that off, not even getting as far as this, just changing them both into fractions out of 20 gets the first mark. Now you have to do the second part, which is now what's two thirds of 19 twentieths. Well, multiplying fractions is easy. You can multiply whatever you like together. You can only add things together if they're of the same thing. But you can multiply anything. It's like multiplying kilowatts and hours to get kilowatt hours. No, so the multiplication is easy. Just multiply, multiply. So you could do 38 over 60 and then simplify. But rather than doing that, rather than... Oh, I'll just do it. 38 over 60. That's just multiplying them at face value. Multiply the two numerators. Multiply the two denominators. And then try and simplify your answer by finding something that divides into them both. Well, they're both even, so that's 19 out of 30, and that's as far as it'll go. You could do that, and there's the final answer. Or, rather than do this, rather than do the multiplication, which ends up with bigger numbers, and then try to simplify those bigger numbers, you could do the simplify at the beginning. Is there anything that will divide into any numerator with any denominator? And there is two. Two will go into that once, two will go into that ten times. And then you can carry out the multiplication. And then you wouldn't have this step, you would just have one nineteen is a nineteen, and three tens are thirty. The other way would be split it up, do the multiplication, do two thirds of a fifth plus two thirds of three quarters. This time I'm going to do the simplification first, if there's any. There's no simplification here. Nothing will divide out. So I'm left with two ones are two over three fives are 15. Here, it just about all goes. Three into three goes one. Two into two goes one and two. So that just becomes one over two, which is a half. Now this time, that would be the first mark. And then adding them into the same denominator. Well, 15 and two both divide into 30. 15 into 30 goes 2, 2 twos are 4, 2 into 30 goes 15, 15 ones are 15, and now you get the 19 out of 30. And so on to number 2, again just for the 2 marks. Given that f of x is x cubed minus 2, evaluate f of negative 3. That x is really just there for the sake of putting something down. It's just like a placeholder. It just stands for whatever you care to put in. So this just says, whatever you put in, what you do is, you take whatever you put in, it could be a letter, it could be a number, it could be anything, you take whatever you put in, you cube it and take away two. So if you actually put in a negative three, it means you put the negative three into this, cube it and take away two. Now just for doing that, get some mark. Now those brackets, you should have that in brackets. 
because that negative belongs to that 3. So when this number's cubed, it's the whole thing that's cubed. Now, cubing that would be a negative times a negative times a negative. That's three negatives. An odd number of negatives gives a product of a single negative. And three cubed means three times three times three. That's nine times three is 27. Now, negative 27 take away two isn't negative 25. Negative 27 means, well, you've got zero here. Negative 27 means you've gone 27 back. And to take away two means you go back another two. So you'll be at negative 29. Now, that should really be placed inside of a bracket because when you cube it, you have to cube the negative as well as the three. If you were to write negative three cubed, take away two, that would be wrong. That wouldn't get a mark because all you're saying there is you're ignoring the negative sign and just carrying out whatever the operation was on the three. However, if you did do that, which is wrong, you would still get the correct answer just by coincidence here, if you like, because it turns out that that cubed is just negative 27, which means doing it the wrong way would result eventually in the correct answer. Now, normally in a, in a marking scheme, they would say, well, they say it at the front here, don't they? Normally with a marking, they would say, to earn full marks, you must show you're working, which seems to imply, unless you show you're working, you won't get the full marks. You think that would apply here? You'd think you'd have to show the negative three in a bracket cubed in order to get the negative 29, because you could get the correct answer by making a mistake. However, in this question, and some of them, they do say this, in this question, it says, correct answer without working, award two out of two. Now, that shouldn't really be the case. That should only be the case where it says, award full marks without working. If there was no way or no other way that you could get to the correct answer, through a series of errors, fortuitous series of errors. But that is the case here, so I don't understand that marking. You should put down the working anyway.